Hi, I am back with another video on MS flows that uh, we call as a power automation as well. So uh, we have a very common problem with the approval flows, uh, which flows uh, provide us out of the box that the approval flows only can send the emails or the approval emails uh, options to individuals. So that there is very common requirement to change the individual uh, individuals to a SharePoint group. So in this uh, video, I would be demonstrating how you can set the approval to a group instead of individual users. So I will start with the site pages library. And in this site pages library, I will first of all configure the page approval flow. I'm just clicking on it. So I'm naming this, I'm, I'm just leaving the name as is. Approvers, I can, for the time being, I can add myself. So this thing where uh, we actually wanted to, wanted approvers, I can, in the flow, I would be setting that as a SharePoint group. So now flow is created, I'm just going to my flows. So I could, I should be able to see that flow in my list. Here we go. So now I'll be just uh, clicking on this flow, edit this flow. Now I am going to customize this uh, out of the box flow so that we can just have the approval group instead of individual. So to start with, I would be adding one action that is send HTTP request. Because as in by default, we don't have an activity to fetch out the uh, users from a group. So I'll be using a send HTTP activity. So in this activity, I'll be providing my site name and method is get with the get request. And in the URI, I will be uh, sending, I'll be uh, sending a URI uh, a request to the site group. So I'll be just uh, Copying that uh, the entire uh, request that is API website groups get by name. So I'm uh, sending out the approvers to this SPFS owners group, extracting because I'll be extracting the users. So I would be just uh, setting that endpoint as users. So in the key, I would be just entering the accept in the header part and then application. JSON or data equal to for us. Yeah. So this my sign HTTP part is ready. So now I would be reading out this response. So I need to initialize uh, one variable first of all so that I can read out uh, that value. Initialize. I'm just uh, naming that as variable as approver emails and this would be a string now again adding another action for passing this response so there is an action that parse JSON let me find that out So in past session, I'll be reading out the, uh, the, uh, the HTTP body. So here in the sign an HTTP request. So I'll be selecting this body. Now there's a key part. So in the schema, I will be defining the entire schema of the response because uh, uh, actually I get a, a object and uh, these object which have, which, have, which have to be read in the next steps. So in the schema, I would be sharing this schema with you all, with you all as well. Now, just a high level glance. So this object, this email, this thing we would be reading out from this schema. So now the next step would be to uh, 
append all the emails, extracted emails as a semi uh, uh, comma separate. So I'm just uh, first of all I need to apply each lot of uh, uh, emails. So now I'm selecting a parse JSON result over here, and in the same step, I will be just appending the strings. Append to string variable. So now this is my variable, and what I would be appending is the email which I got from parse JSON and uh, here's the key because uh, I would be getting all the emails but those emails would not be semicolon separated so I need to put the semicolon explicitly to it so now we are ready so we have our all the approver emails in this approval email variable so now now we are going to tailor the existing out of the box flow where uh, while initializing we have passed the hard coded name or email ID so now we have to remove this one and read out that uh, dynamic content for emails. So now uh, we are good to go. So you can just save your flow. So now flow is saved. So we can just try testing it. So let me show you the SPFX owners group. Who are they? Right now there is nobody. So I'll just add myself. So now I'm going to create a new page, which will be binded with the approval flow. And that approval flow would be sending out the uh, approval action to the respective individual SharePoint group. The approval flow started. I'm just doing continue. I can add this message as demo. So the flow has started. Let me verify. Okay, so it has failed. So let's see. So schema validation has failed. So let me just re-edit this. So uh, the error was uh, due to because this is my test environment and the user which was created uh, was having was not having any proper user ID. But in actual environments where we have the users created by AD, this problem should not be there. So I've just handled uh, that schema with a null thing. So let me let me just uh, do a quick edit so that uh, you should be able to handle by yourself as well in case your environment does not allow a valid uh, invalid users. User ID. Yep. So, yep. So right now. So I have handled providing a type as object and comma null in case the object returns null. So in my case, there's a test environment where I don't have any proper users. So in this case, it's written null. So that was the problem. So when you rerun your flow, so it will, if you handle that null thing, it will run successfully. And if users are valid, you would be able to pass the valid email addresses in this thing so because my user is not valid it's not having proper email address so that's why it's giving error otherwise like uh, this flow would run uh, seamlessly without any problem so that's it for now i will share the schema uh, in my youtube comments so that you can refer for your own flow thank you